4D, the Weather Authority's secret weapon against severe storms. The most cutting-edge weather technology in Northeast Florida and South Georgia. Ready with the ready to be done with the rain? Yes, yes, we are ready to be done with the rain. And some folks might not have seen any rain at all today, but we're still seeing plenty of it move on shore. So here's a look at our 4D radar as we're seeing another band kind of training in, if you will. It's just like they won't keep, it won't stop, right? So here is a closer look at what we're seeing right through here. This is through the Mandarin area along just north of 295 through the green, or right at 295 and 9B through here. Look at that, heavy downpours right through that area. And it's right at rush hour at 620. So more of this to come and heavy downpours at times could cause some flooding conditions like we've been talking about for the past seven days. Now, when they stall out and dump a lot of water all at one time, that's what causes the flooding. So if you see a flooded roadway that you're not familiar with, turn around, don't drown. And still, that's why we have a flood watch in effect for most of our coastal counties through tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. because these systems are continuously coming on shore. All right, here's a look at the airport. Heavy rains just fell through this area as well. And here's a look at Maple port camera from the morning star marinas flag is flying the winds are whipping and that will stay with us throughout the evening while the showers may taper off the winds will stick around right now temperatures in the upper 70s low 80s for most everyone under that blanket of clouds not a lot of opportunity to warm up all right tropical storm francine now moving to the north northwest north northeast rather 10 miles per hour 65 miles per hour once it gets to 74 that's when it becomes a category one storm. We're keeping an eye on that. Pressure continues to drop. Next track will come out at 11 p.m. tonight. They'll be in another advisory at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Watches and warnings are now up. Storm surge watches and tropical storm warnings all the way to the border of Alabama and Florida. So will this affect us? Yes, we will see some outer band of this storm affect us Wednesday afternoon going into Thursday. So here's a look at Right now, 615 Tuesday, this storm becoming a hurricane and moving towards the New Orleans area of Louisiana right along the border there. But here are some of those outer bands. All that weather has to go somewhere and it's going to move into the southeast Georgia area, creating some pretty intense storm systems at times. We could see heavy downpours, gusty winds associated with this tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll see that weather move on shore from the Gulf of Mexico, crossing over I-75 to the west side by tomorrow evening. Again, another round of heavy rains across our area with some windy conditions. But we are watching other areas of the tropics way out here to the east. Another system brewing with an 80% chance of formation coming over the next seven days. All right. Overnight, like I said, showers will taper off for just about everyone. The winds will stick around for most part. And then the next seven days shaping up like this. We've been below average for our highs with all this rain and blanket of clouds. Well, we'll finally see a break in that later, probably Thursday into Friday. And then thankfully the weekend is looking pretty nice. Sunday for the football game looks to be one of the nicest days we've seen in about seven to ten days. Michelle, thank you.